Short answer? No. Long answer? No. Not really. Not anymore. Oh, and a quick disclaimer. Sorry about the bad gameplay. This was back in February when I was learning how to use shotguns. And I was trying out a new HUD layout. So just bear with it. Well, first off, what does it mean to be pay to win? Well, pay to win means that you have to pay money in order to get an advantage over people who won't pay. So was this game ever pay to win? Is it still pay to win right now? So in the earlier seasons, you could make a case that this game was pay to win. Nowhere near the extent of most other mobile games, but slightly so. I remember when the HBR was first released. It was the best weapon in the game. And it was exclusively behind a paywall. It wasn't until a couple seasons later, after it was nerfed, it was made for free. And it's never been relevant in the meta since then. Let's move on to weapon rarity. So you got your rare skins, you got your epic, you got legendary, and you got your mythic. So does skin rarity affect your ability to play? Does it make you a better player? Well, back in the earlier seasons, you could say that the higher rarity guns were better than the base ones. With each tier of rarity, you got a weapon perk. Something like extra range, faster reloading, a speed boost, some things like that. The higher the rarity, the more perks that you got. I don't know if it's anything too crazy, but it made a slight difference. When Gunsmith was later released in Season 9, those extra perks became weapon attachments. And you can only have one at a time. That is, if you bother equipping one. Most of the time, they're not worth the attachment slot. Speaking of attachment slots, without the ability to stack multiple perks, how do these higher tier weapons distinguish themselves from the rest and provide value aside from purely cosmetics? Well, you change the iron sights. Or more specifically, you give them a free red dot. So, is that pay to win? I'd argue, no. I'd go as far as to say that all iron sights are usable. Sure, having a cleaner custom iron sight would make some guns easier to use by lessening the learning curve. But once you reach the point of being used to a gun, it stops being about the iron sights. It becomes about you, and what you can do. Custom iron sights just make some guns easier to pick up, not necessarily easier to master. It's just a preference. I will say that some of the blueprints in the credit store might be worth it, because they typically come with a predetermined loadout, and if you haven't unlocked all the attachments on all the weapons, they might make grinding a lot easier. But most of the attachments that they give aren't that good. Still better than nothing, I guess. So what about blueprints having different stat values than the original gun? The numbers, Mason. What do the numbers mean? I'm sorry, Hudson, but the numbers don't mean anything. It's just a bug. They're the same. They're not pay to win. It's a lie planted into your mind by clickbait. Okay? But what about the katana slash hachi? They're overpowered without a free katana. How am I supposed to impress my buddy piddle? Ooh. -woo. Well, first off, no. And second of all, it's not OP. I know that some critics and detractors write it off and say that it's just a knife. Honestly, it has more in common with the shovel than anything else. And the shovel's free. Don't get me wrong, I'm a weeb. But simping over a cute anime girl doesn't make you a better player. Should you still buy skins, even if they're just cosmetics? Personally, the standards by which I judge epic weapons are if it has animations, it is physically different from the base weapon, or if you can stack grindable skins on top of it, like gold or diamond. But hey, it's your money. You do you. And to any kids out there stealing their parents' credit cards, thinking that a fancy skin will make them the best player in the lobby? Well, I regret to inform you this, but it takes time to get good at this game. Not investing money. Honestly, Call of Duty Mobile is refreshingly generous with how much free stuff it gives out. Is it usually the best stuff out there? Not always, but hey, free is free. My name is On, and I'm off. DMCA violating the DMCA. All the